Let's move some code into the function. Ooh, we're gonna chain work on a function. So make this function collect T without getting eaten or wet. So we're creating something called safe collect, which means we need um, the weight in there and they're giving us the hint about not getting wet because we also have to add the bridge in. My goodness, they are working us. So, um, let's first put in our until cat sleeping wait. So that's going to go f at the beginning of our loop, and at the beginning of our safe collect. Now, T, this is where I want to help you understand what you're doing. T, you can see in go to we have T. So safe collect we have T. When we say go to T, that's whatever object we name later. So in this case, it would be safe collect M or safe collect matches. So we can't assume go to T is going to be the bridge. It's going to be M for matches. Do we want to go straight to the matches? No. First, we want to go to the bridge. So go to bridge. Then go to T, meaning matches, grab, go to the pile, drop. All right, I think we have all the steps. Let's see. Now, here's the other thing. Using safe collect in your for loop looks like this. Later on, you know they're going to have you write that yourself. Oh, uh, I forgot to go back to the bridge coming back. And look at that. And then the cat ate me because I got stuck. That was rude. Okay. <laughs> Grab. I got to put go to bridge there too. Um... Now I think we're good. When you're doing this, you need to make sure that you pay attention to your spacing because these are in our safe collect loop. The weight is in our until loop. 